One of the most common questions I'm asked is how to make a great looking screencast. I've got a few tips up my sleeve. Screencasting is using screen captures, stills and movies, from your computer to create video content. We're starting to see these pop up all over the web in the form of podcasts, website tours, software tutorials, and viral videos. The first step is capturing the footage from your Mac. There are some good programs out there. I use Snaps Pro 2 from Ambrosia Software. Others use programs like I Show You and the fancy newcomer ScreenFlow. I capture the video in a high def frame size, like 720p or 1080p, or some other widescreen aspect ratio. For videos that will ultimately be delivered on the web, a high quality H.264 is generally fine, but it will have to render in Final Cut Pro. Generally, it's easier to capture to whatever codec you edit in, whether it be HDV, XDCAM, ProRes 422, Often I'll just use the animation codec, it's perfect lossless quality that looks great in my edit. For more on codecs, go to macmediacast.com and check out our tutorial called An Intro to Video Codecs. Codecs that I would avoid would be ones that were meant for viewing on television, DVNTSC, DVCAM, etc. Because they are interlaced and screen captures look awful when interlaced, we want to always use a progressive setting when generating web content. I like to capture a virtual tight shot, not the whole screen. I want all my details visible when this video is shrunk down to YouTube size. It can also help to capture as high res as you can, so you have a little room to zoom into the content if you need to. Also, I like to leave an uncluttered background whenever I'm capturing. If it's the desktop, I use a solid color like white or black to keep the focus where I want it. Once I've got my screen capture, the icing on the cake is in the edit. Your screen captures will be brought to a more professional level with high quality music and voiceovers and motion graphics from programs like Apple's Motion or After Effects. As for the voiceover, unless you're an incredibly gifted linguist, I'd recommend scripting or at least outlining what you'd like to say and recording it separately. This will add to the polished finished product. On my editing timeline, I also choose a high def or progressive setting. As I said before, settings like DVNTSC that were meant for television are interlaced and won't look good in this application. To see great screencasts, go check out the work of my pal Don McAllister at screencastsonline.com and drop by my company's website at hilomedia.com to see some of the screencasts and product videos we're making for commercial clients. Thanks for watching. For more Mac audio and video tutorials, drop by MacMediaCast.com. Be sure to befriend me on Twitter, Facebook, and all the social sites. More info at JosephNilo.com.